Tonight on Ideal Interiors, we go back to Palacina Interiors and discover some lovely bedroom spaces that will be an inspiration for a new lease on your dreams. We visit PG Bison, where we are taken on a journey of masterful creation of particle boards, door skins, components, flooring and furniture fittings to fit any taste palette. And we take a walk into the world of the upcoming Ideal Interiors Expo. Our presenters are Pete and Casera, and our location is the beautiful home of Jane and Tobias in the upmarket Runda estate, where this lovely couple epitomize hospitality. Pete and Casera arrive to a very warm welcome from Jane and Tobias in their wonderfully designed home, complete with lots of green areas that are fantastically landscaped and well manicured. The interiors are any homeowner's dream and to complete the architectonic poetry, a clubhouse, gazebo and beautiful pool help make pleasant every space in this home, making it easy to contemplate the emotions that good architecture can transmit. Okay, I want great. her to show me around. Great, fine. Yeah. Okay. So we catch up later? Okay. Yeah, we'll All see you later. Right. Okay. The couple suggested that the best way to tour the home was to split, with Jane and Cassara going into the main house and Pete and Tobias visiting the external entertainment areas. And the first stop was Toby's Club. Yes, Toby's Club. This is a full-fledged club set in the privacy of this magnificent home. That's the lead, this? Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Mamma so, mia. So this is it. So uh, we got some... So at night, what, what normally happens, depending on the... What kind of parties there, you can put different kind of lightings, depending on the kind of mood which is there. My goodness, so good. Yeah. The design inspiration of the interior of this space derives from Tobias's family's background in music. And as he told Pete, the whole concept allows for a huge number of guests and the rooftop terrace allows for diverse guests to be entertained without stepping on each other's toes. Then have different kind of light. Oh, right. Yeah. So talking about the so, different people you're doing, what sort of people do you normally bring into this wonderful place? I mean, just friends, friends and, uh, and uh, mostly friends. Mostly your friends? Yes. yes. And so when your friends come in here, what exactly do they do? I mean, just um, you can have a party, weekend, uh, sometimes business meetings. Yeah, that kind of oh, okay, yeah. lovely. Yeah. And the, the, the furniture, the chairs, I mean, yes, I can put mostly in leather, yeah. but then it's just a multiplicity of colours. You, know, uh, <laughs> you know, you have to be, be a bit wild with the, the way we think. So, so uh, I don't like uh, something which is emotional, which is just kawaii. So I like let me see, you can see red, there's green, there's blue. So that reflects a lot of the kind of life I do. Yeah, yeah. From the rooftop terrace, you have a wonderful view of the home and the surrounds, and the well kept garden, complete with swimming pool, where Pete spotted the other entertainment area, the gazebo, and Toby was naturally happy to take Pete on a tour. My goodness, Toby. Yes. So the way it's designed is just not this not a gazebo, a typical gazebo. It's meant to be an outdoor entertainment place also. So uh, that's why you can see. Um, and then the way we designed it is that since it's an outdoor, we want it to be, to be around, you know, um, a bushy area. That's why, if I, in terms of the, the design of the vegetation, we decided to put it like this. It's green, green, and then you can see there, cycad. You can see uh, a lot of plants around it. It's designed to be an outdoor. And I can see just like what you have in the club. The lighting is yeah. also beautiful. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's supposed to be, you know, like if, if, if you're clubbing, then you know you need to have the effect of, of, of good lighting. So that's why it's, it's an outdoor, but with very good light. The gazebo is set in a lush garden with tropical plants all round, giving a feel of a jungle set in the privacy of a home. 
Tobias invited Pete into his favorite space in the house, complete with fully stocked bar, where they bumped into Obala, who was more than happy to serve them with drinks. So this is the sort of place um, perhaps you would want to bring those who are much closer to you. Well, yeah, exactly. Much closer and um, two or three people. So uh, you just have coffee or, or juice and yeah. And I can see here your colors um, from the seats. You have mostly white, black, and red. Ah, uh, yes, you know, like um, what, what I try to do is that each and every room or every entertainment place has its own thing. Each and every room or place is supposed to be different, totally different from the other one. So that as you're walking from one place to another, you don't get monotony. You know? This Indo entertainment space is themed in red and black with a splash of white, complete with a fireplace as the focal point, making for a very lively, fun-filled, entertaining area. It could not get better, as Emmanuel, the architect of the house, also showed up and was quite happy to share with Pete how the entire design concept came to be. The thing that I would love to ask you is, what was the brief that Toby and Jane gave you to put together this fantastic home? Well, uh, the brief was uh, quite deep and, and I can summarize it uh, probably in two or three uh, points. One was to capture their lifestyles. Yeah. And then number two was the context. It's, it's got a lot of uh, good but varied architecture. So they wanted something that stands out. And then number three, they wanted a, a, a project that is uh, responsive to the environment, a project that is within their budget at that point in time. What is it about this home that you would say is unique and that would make you proud as an architect? I think this, in, this home is unique in three ways. One, uh, we were focusing on the architecture itself. Two, the outdoor spaces are unique because they complement the architecture, but they are also spaces that are good to hang out in. And then number three, the interiors are unique. Each of the rooms, like you say, you've already gone around the house. Each of the rooms are uniquely designed to, to actually suit the needs of the rooms. No matter how clean and modern your style, Every home needs at least one or two cozy spaces where you can just lounge and let loose. Tobias and Jane have managed to do just that with their entertainment spaces, making every cocktail party or simple Sunday afternoon to leave its impression, making their home a repository for every experience of a life well lived. On that note, perhaps we should toast to your home. Next, Pamatiano of Palacina Interiors shows Pete bedrooms that offer a retreat from the stresses of everyday living. The bedroom is often the most private area of the home, a room that is thought of as a sanctuary. It's the last thing you see when you close your eyes at night. It can inspire sweet dreams or nightmares if you're not happy with the design or layout. Therefore, it's also a bit of a decorator's dream space. The bedroom is also a space where you can indulge in some of the decadence that you might not want to display to guests. A place where you can truly follow your heart when it comes to the design. For the more traditional types like Pete, this elegant bedroom that Pam led him to would be your cup of tea. The massive mahogany headboard is complemented by brass bedside lamps, complete with a mahogany dresser, and the chandelier acts as a strong focal point. The bedroom comes with a corner sofa and chocolate ottoman. Pete couldn't resist the temptation to have a feel of this fit-for-a-king aesthetic retreat that certainly epitomized luxury. Wow, just look at this palm. 
This is exactly what I was talking about. You remember the champagne colors from that living room that you showed yes, me? Yes, I remember. Remember you were saying you wanted something that would go well with the champagne color, and that's what we've actually used here. We wanted to use a neutral color that will not be very, very much different from what we used in the living room. And here we were trying to use an, a neutral color that would go so well with the wood, with the floor, and the bed as well. Wow, and this is such a fantastic chest of drawers. I love the way this wood just merges in with the champagne colors. Now with the dresser, you can use it to, to store your clothes. You can use it for the lady to use it as a, a dressing table. Yes, and you've got it right. I mean, my goodness, look at this. Isn't that beautiful? It is. It's so nice and smooth. The thing is with uh, our bedroom collection, we tend to give you a dresser that goes so well with the bedside tables and the bedside tables that you can use to place your lamps and the lamps that you can use, you know, to read uh, while you're still relaxing and the chandelier as well. It's a whole package. Now with this bedroom, we decided also to give you a sofa. You know, sometimes when you come in, you want to relax in your bedroom. You don't want to, you know, lie on the bed. We decided to put a small L-shaped sofa that still goes very well with our curtains, the color paint that we've used on the wall, with the wood and the, and the bed as well. This is just fantastic. And I like the way you have on the dresser the other lamps there. Yeah. What's the difference between having those there and the bedside lamps? Well, the difference is, you know how sometimes you want to either, for the lady, wants to remove makeup before going to bed, they can use the dresser to put their makeup items. Therefore, you can use those uh, bedside lamps for, you know, reading or just relaxing before you go to bed. And then you've also added in the mirrors, just like you did it in the living room. Yeah, just to accessorize, because you know, again, with the bedroom, you don't want to use a lot of mirrors. And what I really love about this space is the manner in which you have been able to, in not a very large bedroom, fit in this huge king-size bed and that corner of, as a living space. Now you see again, with our Kenyan homes, the bedrooms, we usually don't get those big, big, you know, big bedrooms. With the small space that we have even for the bedroom, if you know how to organize it very well, you can put a lot in it. For well, here, we've used our king-size bed, then we placed another small uh, sofa at the end with a dresser at the end and the two side tables. And that has completed your bedroom. I must say, this is a beautiful bedroom. It is, and very comfortable as well. And you know, you can't tell me it's comfortable and just expect me to accept that. Well, do you want to try it? I'd certainly like to try it. Go ahead. Are you going to leave me alone? Sure, I will. Thank you. You're welcome. Nothing says sweet dreams quite like this bedroom with its well-styled bed, 80s-inspired chandelier and mirrored wall, giving Pete an upscale rock star indulgence. After the break, we visit PG Bison, where commercial director Nishit Medirata gives us an insight of the world of decorative wood-based panel products, fittings, door skins and components that PG Bison supplies to the construction and furniture sector in East Africa. The Ideal Interiors Expo has in the past six years grown to become the premier event of the interiors industry in East Africa. And now, introducing Ideal Interiors Expo 2016. Are you an interior supplier of furniture and furnishings, kitchens and accessories, bathrooms, wall finishes, lighting, flooring and many more? Well, it is your chance to exhibit at the region's finest expo on interiors for homes, offices and hotels. Book your space now. The Ideal Interiors Expo, setting standards in the interiors industry. Bison was established in September 2002 and specializes in the supply of decorative wood-based panel products 
such as particle boards, MDF, flooring, and door skins to the construction and furniture sector in East Africa. To understand this entire process, Pete made a trip to their industrial area-based plant where he was warmly welcomed at the reception in typical PG Bison fashion. He was ushered to Bunny, the sales manager, who introduced Pete to Chris, who is a contractor. Chris was happy to take Pete through his role as a link between end user and PG Bison. Really wonderful meeting with you, Chris. Nice you too. Um, I'm actually here to meet with Nishit Medirata. Okay. And um, the sales manager said to me that it was important that I meet with a contractor. Yes. A contractor at PG Bison. What exactly do you do? Um, as contractors, we we are the direct link between you and PG Bison because PG Bison provides the raw materials and hardware and such, but we provide the solution as to if you need a kitchen done, PG Bison will not do it for you. We'll do the designs for you, or if you do have a design, we will prepare the, the cutting lists and as to how it is required, and we'll bring it here for preparation, and then we also do the assembly uh, on site. Nishit Medirata, the elegant and suave commercial director, was soon at hand to receive Pete and give him an insight of the goings-on at PG Bison. As I was walking through your reception, I could see melamine boards, particle boards, MDF boards, 3D laminate boards, hinges, flooring. What exactly is the nature of your business? Well, primarily, you can see from the product definitions that we're a wood-based panel industry. So we use pine and eucalyptus trees. So we use that as a base raw material to make particle board and MDF. And then those wood-based panels are primarily used in the furniture interior industry. That gives me the impression that um, you have a growing market. Um, how does this compare with, as you know, in Kenya, people are always trying to look for the cheapest option and many of them seem to think that traveling overseas and buying things overseas is a way to go. Um, how do you fit in in all this arithmetic of people wanting to go for what they think is cheap? Well, I think what's happened over the years in our business, we've seen a lot of people move away from cheap. Um, I think they've burned their fingers in the past. The product has failed, it's let them down. You know, at the end of the day, if you make a piece of furniture which is going to fall apart after six months, the cost of replacement is 100%. You can't go and start repairing it. For us now, being closer to the market, we've got to be more adapted to the market. So we have a situation here where customers can come in and they can design whatever furniture they like. And then we basically machine and size that board to their specification. Now we're making custom related parts and components for what they're trying to create. Now that's where your edge is going to be. If you're close to the market, you should be able to produce items that are more specific to the needs of the customer rather than off-the-shelf import. So what indeed you're suggesting is that you have a factory floor where you can actually custom make things for a customer? That's right. So what we do as a further value-added service, we do supply flat board into the market. We have a large number of furniture manufacturers who have their own converting equipment and uh, they support us quite a lot as well and they produce their own design furniture. However, there's a large market that also requires that service which, where, where they do not have access to such uh, machining services. Now, we offer that and primarily uh, some of our big markets are uh, installers and cabinet makers, independent sort of carpenters. And they come in with their own designs or they come in with their own plans, select the materials that they want to work with and then they give us a parts list. And they say, right, we'd like these pieces cut in these certain sizes. We want them edged on the, uh, around with these certain places. We'd like certain drilling positions to be done because we want to put some shelf positions or hinges and that sort of stuff. So we get all of that detail. 
PG Bison prides itself in leading the way in local wood-based panel products with leading brands, state-of-the-art production facilities, sustainably managed resources and unbeatable quality. A visit to their offices will help bring your ideas to life. In the showroom, you will find displays of its products in typical applications such as kitchens, bedroom cupboards, office and domestic furniture, as well as petitioning products. A visit to the showroom will result in a fun-filled guided tour in the application and possibilities of what can be created with raw materials from PG Bison, making your imagination the only limit to the endless possibilities. And finally, we take a peek into the upcoming Ideal Interiors Expo, now running into its seventh year. Nairobi will once again play host to the Ideal Interiors Expo in March 2016. It has been a long walk, a long journey, but with great partners who are keen to transform the interiors marketplace, not only in Kenya, but across the Eastern African region. Exhibitors will showcase furniture and furnishings, wall cladding and surfacing, home appliance and accessories, lighting and lighting fixtures, upholstery and drapery, kitchens and bathrooms, outdoor furniture, flooring and carpeting, ceiling products and many, many more. The quality of products that have been introduced into the Kenyan market Seeing that there's a property boom, it's about time that uh, designers and contractors use high-end products, high-quality products, and it doesn't have to be expensive. I think the Ideal Interiors is a great showcase. When Ramara was started, there was no such way to showcase your products, your services, at a location such as this, where all the invitees are focused. They've come here for a particular reason. They may not have heard of you, you or your company, but now you, you bring something to the table which enlightens them, which educates them, and in turn they educate you. Uh, uh, a lot of people come to our, you know, our place here and say, where do you import from? And we say, this is locally made. It's locally designed, it's locally manufactured. This is all made with Kenyan hands. Every time we're always coming up with something new, something different, and I think that's why a lot of people appreciate our furniture. So over the years, we found that people are actually willing to spend more on quality and also the uniqueness of uh, the different pieces they have. I had 20 years experience in the Kenyan interiors market and um, I've just seen everything change over the years. Um, the quality of people's uh, vision for interiors has grown and uh, more inspired. We really expect a lot of visitors next year. We equally expect a lot more of uh, exhibitors next year. And really the challenge, I believe it's on us to provide ample space. During the expo, there will be live demonstrations from various exhibitors, which will include DIY and special presentations from various pavilions within the exhibition. The Ideal Interiors Expo seeks to bring together players from the industry and the market in order to exploit the huge potential in the interiors industry in Kenya and the larger East African region. You can see the world is coming to Kenya and that's why I'm so proud tonight. Congratulations once again. Keep up the spirit and I'm sure the sky will be the limit. I like the way the expo is, there's a lot, a lot going on, there are a lot of people, a lot of inquiries and I'm happy to have participated. I'm a part-time developer and in construction and this is where we come to know of all the products that are available in this country now. 
The seventh edition of the Ideal Interiors Expo will be held in March 2017 at the Oshwell Centre Westlands and will bring together stakeholders in the interiors industry in East and Central Africa to showcase their products and services to a decisive visitor profile. Join us next week as we take a look at the interior spaces in Tobias and Jane's wonderful home. Pam will open a world of chandeliers and accessories at Palacina Interiors and we will take a look at the creative process on the factory floor of PG Bison as we bring you the best of the good life.